I'm here today to proudly introduce you to a good friend of mine, a colleague, a best-selling writer, someone I have worked together with on a project for a long time. His name is Alan Wake. He has a problem. He hasn't managed to write anything in over two years. Now his wife, Alice, takes him on a vacation to the idyllic small town of Pride Falls to recover his creative flock. We're here. Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. <laughs> We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. But when she vanishes without a trace, Wake finds himself trapped in a nightmare. His latest work, a thriller he Alan, can't even remember writing, is coming true before his eyes. Alan! Alice! My wife is missing. They took her. I found many pages. We can't talk here. Come meet me in the The story has a strong pop culture feel and follows the style and pacing of a modern day TV series. In the following episode, Wake is with his neurotic literary agent Barry Wheeler. Wake believes that Alice has been kidnapped and his missing manuscript is to ransom the kidnappers want. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her! Okay, okay then. It's Alice we're talking about, and they want the manuscript? The one you can't even remember writing? The one they Look, think is... Look, I don't know! I don't know! Rusty knows something. He wants to talk, so I'm going. Oh, this place is trying to kill me! I bet there's mold in Barry is Wake's friend and a bit of a comic relief in the story. An example of our supporting cast of characters around Wake himself. Here we are in Elderwood National Park. The weather and day and night cycle are all part of our simulation. We control the time of day to get as much drama out of a situation as possible. The pages of Wake's lost thriller novel are at the heart of the mystery. A page? They talk about a dark presence that has been unleashed. The visitor center was heavy with an awful smell. Rusty kept coughing blood. Wake is trying to find the lost pages to make sense of what's happened. Rusty squeezed the revolver in his trembling hand, his eyes wild. He screamed, they're here. Then he pulled the trigger. The scenes found in the pages have a disturbing habit of coming true. Alice is gone. Is she dead? <laughs> Worse, is he to blame? Mr. Wake? Rusty? Is this really happening, or has he gone mad? Has he come to a place where fiction turns to reality? And if so, can he bring her back with his writing? <laughs> They're here! He's not stopping! Among Wake's enemies are the locals taken over by the Dark Presence. Wake's shadowy enemies seem invincible under the cover of darkness. In the game, a light source such as a flashlight is always more important to the player than a firearm. Light reveals things as they truly are. It's a safe haven in the night and a combat tool for the player. We also have a few light related weapons, such as the flare gun. Alan Wake fights the forces of darkness with light. Light is a key gameplay element, but so is darkness. As Wake's world slides further into a nightmare, darkness becomes the thing to avoid. Darkness equals terror and danger. Alan Wake is a psychological action thriller. It's a story-driven experience. We want to guarantee the player the best possible roller coaster ride through the game, and the thriller story is our way of doing it. To us, a thriller means strong atmosphere, mood, and a smart story to give a reason for all the scares. <laughs>